And here we go. It's now or never. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And today, we're going to be finally taking on Eggman in the Death Egg Zone. Part 1 here. It's your boy, Vitamin M. And this one is really going to throw us for a loop. But it's pretty darn epic. And here we go. Starting off in this zone, you want to be really careful, obviously. Here we are at the final zone. Grab all the shields that you can. Your lightning shield is going to be your friend here. For the mobility and the electric attacks that can hit you sometimes, it's going to come in handy with everything. You're going to have a lot of those anti-gravity sections here, and you just want to be really on the move and careful for those. Uh, by this point, there are no more super rings, so just keep that in mind as you're going about everything here. You're going to have a lot of those enemies right there. They can gimp you pretty well if you're not paying attention while they just throw their spike forward. Um, you're going to have those balls that are going to be lining up. Um, they'll be on the ground. You just hover over them. You can't really hit them. You're going to have these lift areas here where the treadmill or the conveyor belt will push you in one direction. And if you jump, it'll take you in the other direction. So just be conscious of that. Those things at the top here that are electrifying right there, if you touch those, you will lose rings, and your electricity shield does not help you against those. So this one is pretty tough if you're not careful whatsoever. These anti-gravity sections, they can kind of gimp you here, but there's no enemies in them. You don't have to worry about anything. And those missiles to the end here that you see shooting there, if you're not paying attention, those will get you. Overall, this is... Really, it's not a tough zone. You just have to be really careful what you're doing. And it will... Like that, I wasn't paying attention. It will punish you if you're not paying attention. You'll have these platforms right here that'll show up with the lasers. You'll be able to walk on them for a limited time only. Only here at Zach's I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, you want to be really careful of these things. Keep in mind for these magnetic... Um, you call those there, those magnetic things there that'll give you a ride. Hang on to those. But you're going to have these sections where you just get up here and you're just going to follow the light with where it takes you. You can't control anything here. You're just going to be following where it goes. Just keep in mind for any secrets that are around here. We saw those ring monitors and the electric the lightning shield there. I'll be headed back to get those for sure. But in all honesty, Act 1 is not hard. It really isn't. You just gotta be careful of what's going on. The boss fight, I will say, for Act 1, is kinda tough, which I want you to keep that in mind. If you have Super Sonic on your side at this point in the game, you're looking really good. You're gonna have a lot of tools at your disposal, and you're looking really good at this point. So that's always a plus whatsoever. So you just you gotta keep that in mind as you go about this. But if you don't have Super Sonic, that's okay. The game is gonna be harder on you, but it's certainly not impossible. You just gotta keep in mind everything that's going on. Like I said, gosh, man. Like I said, shields are your friend in this zone, period. So keep that in mind. Man, going back here? Okay. Shields are your friend. Fire, water, or lightning. Period. They're your friend. They give you another hit. Use them. Period. To the best of your ability. So yeah, but that's um that's kind of the gist of everything we're gonna come across here in Act One. But this zone will really mess with you if you're not careful, like I'm saying. And it's actually a really nice kind of end of the game. It gets really tough towards the end here, obviously. And this zone will throw you through loop, especially these conveyor belt sections right here. They'll typically have these missiles firing, you just gotta keep track of those. Those sections will get longer and rude. Those sections will get longer in um, Act 2, and those will really gimp you if you're not paying attention whatsoever. Okay, and you can fall down there, and sure, we'll do that. We're just going to brute force this from here. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. But like I said, the lightning shield will not protect you from that. And bottom is bad. Of course. Oh boy. Come on. Okay. Alright, here we go. And ah, fourth. 
No. Oh my gosh. Ugh. We're off to a great start. We're doing great. Okay. Get over these guys. Yeah. This zone will mess with you. It's not going to touch whatsoever. But 50 rings. That's your friend. Go to Supersonic as soon as you can. That really helps you out. These um these sections though you really don't have to do them. Uh, it's totally up to you. It's kind of more of a uh, it's more of an aesthetic thing, probably. But really not a big deal. So we got that lightning shield there. Looking pretty good there. On the last episode, I kind of left you guys at a cliffhanger, and sorry to do that to you, but um, you know I thought that'd be kind of interesting. I didn't. It was kind of getting towards long in the video there, and I didn't really want to spoil what was going up next. So, but hopefully I left you on a pretty good one there. Yeah, typically there'll be spikes at the end of those. You want to keep that in mind. Those areas will be which is whatsoever. So keep that in mind. Here we go. These areas with the conveyor belts are by far my least favorite and the worst. What the heck? Okay. Sure. That's fine. Man, I am a little frustrated with this right now. See? By far the hardest zone. But It's obviously been a while since I've really played through this. What? You can get crushed there? That's awfully stupid. How was I supposed to know? Man. I'm having the time of my life right now, you guys. I gotta tell you. I don't have Real great time. All right, let's just take it easy. Oh, I thought I was gonna get the third one. Yeah, those guys will those bugs. So when you kind of don't expect them to throw their spike at you, then that's what they do. So just keep that in mind as you know. These anti-gravity sections, like I said, you know, it's just more of dealing with them rather than or it's more dealing with them. But they kind of give you a little break from things since there's no enemies and stuff. So just something to find. These conveyor belt sections, um, you can use your jump to kind of reverse the direction. Where are we going? Okay, I kind of picked this out. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, duck. That's when <laughs> your duck actually comes in handy. <laughs> really haven't had to use that for the whole game. Oh, I get it. Okay, jumping reverses the direction. Okay, I didn't know that's how it worked for these guys. So yeah, if you got tails with you, that can kind of really, really do Don't fall into that bottomless pit there, as you saw earlier, as I did. Don't fall in there if you got that too. So there'll be these areas right here where you can move up and down, left and right, move up and down, and you can kind of bounce back and forth. You want to aim for the center thing right there, where you actually want to hit all of the Red and you'll be able to advance forward. 
So that's kind of a little a nice break from things there, for sure. But here we go. We're at another raceway here, and they're off. All right. So but I thought I had to jump to avoid that, but okay. But okay, we're looking we're looking okay so far. So we got another raceway here. Saw there, I want those ones. So those those things right there, those are actually pretty handy to uh, kind of help you see some secrets in there. Yeah, that you couldn't probably ever or that you would probably be able to see. But it would otherwise. But here we are at the boss fight. And I have to say, this is one tough boss that you just gotta pretty much brute force him. But I'm gonna brute force him with Super Sonic. So what you wanna do is he's gonna, you wanna aim for the eye right there, obviously. And those balls around him are gonna be shooting off spikes and everything such that you gotta avoid those because those will hurt you. And then there'll be phase two here, where he'll turn into this big eye here. He's shooting this laser. He'll have those spike platforms moving around him. This is pretty tough if you don't have Super Sonic on, so you have to be patient. You know, try to use your shield as a buffer, give an extra hit, and everything that comes with that. But it can be pretty tough. But if you have Super Sonic, it's definitely a breeze. But that is probably my least favorite boss fight of all of the mid bosses for sure. But Sonic got through Act One. Oh boy, here we go. Death Egg Zone Act Two, and the music gets a lot better here too. So as you can see, we can kind of see the world around us below. Ooh, don't die. And there's going to be a lot more of these anti-gravity sections here. So this is where the anti-gravity is really going to hurt you if you're not paying attention. So there's going to be these areas where the gravity will actually reverse. So you got to keep that in mind when you come out of these things. And you'll have these areas right here where you pick your path you essentially want to go. So I'm going to go to the left here and see what happens. But you're going to have to be dealing with playing upside down like this, which can be pretty tough, honestly. And a lot of the enemies are upside down, a lot of your bonuses and different things like that are going to be upside down. So you got to keep that in mind as you're going about this. Here. So, don't fire. Anti-gravity is the main gimmick here. There's going to be those... There's going to be those anti-gravity... Oh, shoot. There's going to be those anti-gravity things, and there's going to be these teleporters here that most of the time when they teleport you will swap the polarity. Uh, or uh, swap the gravity, excuse me, not the polarity. Using my electrical. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this thing hopefully doesn't keep those for too long. Okay. So here we go. Got these platforms to watch out for. Once again, those electric uh, areas are back, and they're with a vengeance. These spiky guys here, they will kind of auto move closer to you. You, the clear They will move much more, much more closer to you, and you got to pay attention to them. They'll just come out of nowhere and just poke you, which is really annoying. So just keep that in mind as we go back. But yeah, having these bonus games definitely are very, very helpful by this point, especially we'll say this one here. Trying to get to the top. Super duper duper helpful. Get you a power up, get you some rings, for sure. And uh, having as many extra lives as you want is pretty helpful as we saw. Really struggling with that. Unfortunately. Um, I've always found Act 2 to be a lot harder, so I haven't plus, you know, I haven't played this this zone in particular in a long time. So, but, anywho, that's okay, because here we are, we're back, and these sections I absolutely hate with the vengeance, where you're going to be on these conveyor belts for a long time, and you're just at the mercy of that. It's, it's terrible. I hate it. I hate those sections so much. 
That's why I'm not really a, a huge fan of this zone. Here we've got these springs to use to our ability. We're going to spring into action, as we say. And, uh, yeah, that having the wrong side of gravity was really helpful there. We didn't get shocked or anything like that. So that was pretty nice. So let's just go into Super Sonic here and make this a little bit easier. You're going to have these things right here that you can try to balance them or tip them off to one side. If you tip them too close to one side, then they will actually they will actually all fall down. Most of the time, they'll be over about this here. So just keep that in mind as you go about that here. Well, we got 200 rings, one ring loss per second, and we're looking pretty good here. Those, um, those saw there, they will only open if you jump. So just keep that in mind, just worry about that here. And actually, the insta-shield on regular Sonic here, again, I'm not this, is actually, if you use the insta-shield, it'll actually extend your hitbox for a split second. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna go to the side. Okay. Alright. We got more of these raceways here, but this is where the drama is really heating up with the game. Obviously, you're invading Death Egg here, kind of moving around trying to find Robotnik, and trying to save the Master Emerald, because that's really what's powering the Death Egg. So, that's really what's going on here. So, we're trying to find him, and let me tell you guys, the end of the game is super duper epic, for sure. You guys are really going to like it. I really like it. And I just really like how they go about it. The music especially. I mean, the music for this zone is actually really good. Uh, I do have to say. Alright, let's do this. Let's do the bonus game. The music for Death Egg Zone is actually really good. It kind of gets you hyped for everything going on. It has a techno feel almost to it, which I find very fitting. Uh, of course, with the aesthetic of the place and everything that's going on with that. Plus, you know, a lot Dr. Eggman, as we say, we're in the West here, I guess. Having all of that going on with his goodies and his robot skills, such as that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Death Egg Zone actually, it's not too bad. It's just, it kind of throws me for a loop. Definitely not one of my favorites, because obviously, how hard it can be. But, yeah, it's actually not too bad. It's a good kind of beginning of the end, let's say, of the game here. But here we go. It's our fight against Eggman here. So we got this machine here in the center, and there's not really a whole lot we can do against Ezra's here. We're trying to jump against it. So the thing is, he'll be spitting out those spiky cars, and our best bet is to swap the polarity, or swap gravity, to have those things fall down those things fall down on their backs to where if you time if you time it really well then um, those little spiky cars will actually hit uh, will actually hit the machine there in the center and as you saw there they can really only hurt you if you jump on them so just keep that in mind as you go about it and you know also they'll be shooting out He'll be shooting out some spikes and stuff, but you want to hit those yellow, um, you want to hit those yellow bouncy pads there. Yeah, here we go. So, not too bad, you just kind of go back and forth, and the ones that actually are spiked up on their wheels actually won't hurt you. But Eggman's gotten away, we need to engage him. And here we go. This is the final boss fight. Starting off, he's going to try to crush you with his fingers right here. Just try and go in between them and spin dash. It, you can jump on them, and that kind of makes a little bit of a difference, but honestly, it's best to just spin dash jack back and forth between them. Even when there's just one, just go ahead and spin dash. Very, very easy beginning right there. Now he's going to get to phase two right here. It's going to be a little bit of a chase. What you want to do is you want to jump on his nose. There's the Master Emerald. Powering up his robot right there. He's gonna breathe fire out of his nose. What a plot. Oh my gosh. What a plot twist right there. 
but this fight you have no rings for. So keep that in mind as you go about. Any rings that you still had from the previous boss fight will stay with you, so you are able to go into supersonic. Or go transform into hypersonic in this fight. So keep that in mind. But typically, you're going to have no rings like this. So one hit, and it's over. Keep that in mind as you go about that. But we're just spin dashing in between his fingers right here. Very, very simple part here. But I gotta say, this is one of my favorite final boss themes ever. I really love this song. It's just so sinister and diabolic, and just it just really captures the epicness of this story, of this moment right here in the story. So, to open him up, hit his nose. Tails is actually going to be able to get some good hits on him. So that's kind of nice, and if you don't time your jumps there, you can fall to your doom there, unfortunately, when he doesn't have a master weapon exposed. But basically, this fight is pretty darn epic. All you really gotta do is just time your movements well, time your jumps especially well against that beam, and beyond that, that's the boss fight pretty much. It's pretty darn cool. Don't get crushed by his fingers either. That's never a fun way to go. Alright, we're just waiting for him here. Each finger takes three hits, so keep that in mind. But I love this boss fight right here. But yeah, you just really gotta time yourself. don't hit him in the nose, he will be breathing. breathing. He'll be blowing fire out of his nose until you hit him. So keep that in mind. So we got him right there. Okay. Alright, so what's next? Keep an eye on the floor, too, because if that falls, you go down with it, you're done. you got to start all over again. But here we go. There he is. He's got the Master Emerald right here. And it's on, baby. It's a chase. Come on. We just got to keep hitting him. On Sonic. On. There we go. All right. And welcome to the Doomsday Zone. This is the true final boss fight right here. You can only get to this zone if you have all seven of the Chaos Emeralds. You do not need all seven or even just one. Of, or even just one of the Super Emeralds. All you need is all seven Chaos Emeralds and you will play this. But you're going to be hypersonic through this whole time or supersonic depending on if you have all the Super Emeralds or not. But you're going to be watching out for those missiles as they're coming our way. And you want to be collecting, your, collecting all these rings as you go along here. Uh, you can press the jump button to zoom forward. But you're going to be losing rings the whole time, so it's really, really important that you collect rings as you go about this whole stage right here. Watch out for the rocks, they will slow you down as you're seeing the two. And eventually, you know, we're going to be engaging Robotnik here. So there he is. So if you press A, you'll give him a little speed boost. So he'll be firing all these missiles, and we're going to be trying... going to be trying to um, have those missiles run into him there. But he's going to be firing a lot of ammunition our way, but you just got to watch out for him. And keep an eye on your ring count there, because if you go down at this point, you lose your transformation, and you will die automatically. Because I'm, um, I guess, being out in space, and of course, as always, you turn back into regular Sonic and Space that way. But here we go. So that's phase one. This little good not there. Really low on rings. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The music will speed up too. Wow, I'm really cutting it. Okay, come on, come on. Where are the rings? Where are the rings? No! Oh. 
Oh no! I thought I was gonna get that one go there. But this boss fight is really, really incredible. It's pretty tough the first time you do it, but you know, after a while, it's not that bad. But keep an eye on these rings, collect as many as you can, and if you don't get hit as much by all his ammunition that's thrown your way, you're not gonna have a hard time with this boss fight whatsoever. But this is just, I can't stress how awesome this boss fight is. Kind of how secretive and all of your hard work paying off, not just for Super Hypersonic, but for the final, final boss fight right here too. You know, stay in line with these missiles. You can't hit me. 90 rings, we're doing pretty good here. Alright. But this is a really, really cool reward for getting all seven of those Chaos Emeralds. Even that Super Emeralds there too. Really does pay off. Gosh, just with this music pumping us up behind us, things are getting pretty epic here. Okay. Where did those missiles come from? Tap the jump button in order to get a speed boost. Okay, there we go. That's the end of stage one there. Now, it's going to be trying to take off with the Master Emerald, but we're not going to let that happen. So here we come. Get this little area to get some more rings. There's going to be some rings scattered throughout this whole area, too. The rings, that is the name of the game here. We'll be trying to catch up with them here, too. There's some rings. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Okay. Oh, those areas of six are the best, honestly. Those are just really, really awesome. Really refreshing, if I do say so. There he is. So, you just have to run into him. You gotta watch out for everything he's gonna be firing at you. Just keep pressing the, the speed boost button, the jump button there. I think you just gotta hit him eight times. So, let's go. Watch out for the rockets he's gonna hit behind you, because those will obstruct you, and if you hit, you'll be immobile for a little bit. Just gotta watch out for those. Actually, I was gonna go up there. Okay, come on. I think we just got a couple more hits to go. Come on! The whole world waits for Galtier! Boom! Oh man, there it is. And we got it. We got it. We got the Master Emerald. We finished the game. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that was exhilarating right there. That was pretty great. Oh my gosh, wow. Holy cow. I didn't think Death Egg was going to be that treacherous on me, but... Oh man, I clearly haven't played this in a while. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, we get to see this this ending right here. So, Tails is flying the tornado there with the Master Emerald. Turns back to... Angel Island there. As you can see, Angel Island is rising out of the sea. Knuckles is back, guarding the Master Emerald now. 
as we make our way away. But yeah, so that's the best ending of the game. The bad ending is actually where you don't have the Super Emeralds. You just have the Chaos Emeralds, I believe, and you actually don't get the Master Emerald after um, Eggman's giant robot there goes down. It actually will stay in space. And you'll return to Angel Island and it will stay in the sea. I believe so. Otherwise, there's the good ending where you do get it and you don't have all the Super Emeralds, I believe. But, yeah, so that was Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That was actually the Sonic playthrough that you would do with Sonic and Tails and Sonic, as I said earlier. And Tails will actually have all of pretty much the same paths as Sonic. But, yeah, I have to say, I really enjoyed doing this for sure. I mean, this was... Obviously, this is pretty new to me. I'm, you know, kind of working the kinks out, but this was definitely pretty, pretty fun for me. This was a blast, I have to say. You know, just going through one of my favorite games and trying to provide some commentary, commentary and a little aid to those who are looking for a little help, I guess, because I see some long plays of this game, but not really anything supplemental to it or commentary, because, you know watching some Let's Players myself, I always enjoyed the commentary that they supplied and how they added to the atmosphere that the game was trying to create. And I always really appreciated that, and I always wanted to try it myself, so. But yeah, that was the Sonic playthrough, and definitely I think my favorite way to play the game, like I said in the very first episode, with um, all of the shields and Sonic having the ability to use them to the full capability that they have. But yeah, really love this game. Love the story, love the characters, really, really love the music, and everything that comes with it. So yeah, just want to thank, just want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for, you know, just, I guess, sacrificing 30 minutes of your time or so just to catch up on an episode or two, and hopefully I made you laugh through it all. But yeah, that is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And Knuckles, of course. The Sonic playthrough. So, yeah. So, so what's next? Well, I think next is going to be trying out the and Knuckles portion of the game. I think that's what's coming next. So, that'll be pretty cool for sure. But, yeah. That is the Sonic playthrough of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support for this time. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you, my dudes.